Hello everybody, I'm back. So, um, I've not been in a creative mood. Um, as most of you know, my son has recently gotten, got married and um, yeah, that was my big event for, for this year and it was, it was wonderful. Um, yeah, so I really haven't been, like I've had, you know, some time on my hands, but um, where I could have came here, but mm, kind of, I, I think it's more because my mind was more occupied in, you know, in, in other things than, than crafting. So I was really like not doing almost anything at all. So um, apart that, uh, yeah, I did do a few things in my home to, you know, kind of decorate. Um, I sewed some curtains for my bedroom, for my living room. And yeah, I've been keeping pretty busy. Um, so this this video is going to be talking mostly, but I'm I'm going to show you what I am up to right now, and that's um, my sister Maria. Um, you can find her on Facebook, um, Sweet Events. She um, she does weddings here, so I'm kind of helping her out right now because she has to do a hundred of these flowers for a wedding in June and. I'm kind of helping her out. I kind of sh I showed her how to do these flowers, and I had sold them in um, in fairs, and so and I did have them in white and in um, this burlap color as well too. The only difference what I'm doing from now to then was apart that I'm I'm using a complete different method on what I'll I'll be talking about that now. But for the fair, I had gotten those beautiful laces that my sister gives me that, you know, are cuts from the dresses and things like that. And what I did with the lace was I put it on wax paper and I coated it with white glue and I left it to dry. And then I would cut heart shapes out of it. So that way the lace was nice and durable. And you can bend the leaf as well, too. So the leaf was coming in out from the back here which looked just beautiful and I was using all different types of laces you know so there were some laces with beads and there were some laces wedding dress laces so um, I might have shown them in some video but way back when anyways this idea I got from cool to craft well yeah it's still cool to craft but um, you'll find it um, called soul creative creative soul um, oh I you know I when I started, when I found YouTube, when I found out about YouTube, I was watching their videos every week. So about two years, three years back, they were doing videos every week. Tiffany and um, and Heidi and Beautiful Recycling. Um, you know, you guys probably already know um, recycling materials they would use in these videos. Heidi is um, the queen of recycling. And this is where I learned this method, which they learned from their mother, Aileen, from Aileen's Glue, naturally. So I'm going to show you the difference between the way they would do them and the way I found out how to do them because I have to do 100 of them. So, and I really don't have, mostly it's the space that I'm missing. So what I did was I cut a piece. Now this is burlap already cut like this. You can buy them in the rolls. So that way I'm going to put you up a bit farther. You can buy them in the rolls. And, and I'll start talking to you guys about the wedding and everything as we start, you know. Um, I, I can do two things at once. So, <laughs> I know. Huh? So here, you have to be careful because once it starts going, I'm going to cut this piece. You don't want this to happen. Um, or I've done it by meter and I've cut the strips myself. So these strips are, let me see where I put that here. These strips are, and this this is the perfect, like you're going to get a flower this size with this width of, of um, ribbon. And this width would be, if you buy it by the meter, you know, would be three, three and a quarter wide. Um, let me see, is something missing here? Three and a quarter to three and a half wide, okay? And then... I cut them 24 inches long, see, from one side to the other, okay? So if you want to do them smaller, do them half the size and you get little butts, which are adorable as well too. Um, my sister just wants this one size. I think they're going, these things are going to be attached to the bags of the keepsake 
um, things that this this girl is giving away for her wedding. I'm not sure. So um, what I learned from them was, you know, always cool the crap is to get the glue, and she would spread it like all along here. I'm gonna I'm not gonna do this because I found out another way of doing it faster. Um, so she would uh, a whole line of glue on one side and a whole line of glue on the other side and she would let this dry. This is where my problem comes in that I, you know, I would have to do a whole bunch of these at a time, 30, 40 at a time and find some place to let them dry. Um, you know, uh, it would be better to let them all night. Now the reason being that she would put the glue was to seal the edges so that way your burlap doesn't fray while you're doing this work. So my um, thought was how could I do this faster? And um, you guys check out their channel because they have, if you don't know them, they have amazing things. Amazing, amazing, amazing. They do amazing stuff. Um, you're going to have to go back because I've seen that the last video was put out a year ago. So yeah, she hasn't done any more, much, much more videos anymore. And so um, what I did was what, what they would do is put the Eileen's glue on each side, right? Let that dry. Then they would start threading, taking all the threads out here, right? I'm going to do one just to show you because this isn't going to affect my, well, it shouldn't affect it. Now, this is what was happening when I was pulling them. So as I was pulling it, these sides here were starting to unravel because I tried doing it without putting the glue in to see how, you know, how it, how it would be. And naturally, it couldn't be done because you need something to seal the edges so that way, you know, the burlap doesn't start pulling out. So this is what they would do naturally. They would start pulling them all out until they would get to the glue. My way instead is getting the glue gun and just along the side, I'm going to do pieces, but little pieces at a time. And let's bring you down a bit. And just fold to the edge in half. And we would do the whole thing. Try not to, you know, forget spots because you're going to have to go back and close them up. And try to stay, you know, as close to the edge as possible. Because you want to take as much threads out of here as possible. Okay? Yeah, so um, the wedding was a morning wedding. So we had to be in church by, by quarter to 11. And we were on time, my son and I. Um, who knows me on Facebook has seen pictures of... Um, some pictures of the wedding and um, so me and my son my son and I we left from the house to go to the church together in in the car in the main car that this car would be going after to pick up the bride and um, just gonna let it set a bit so that way it doesn't open up while I'm starting to pull the strings so yeah, we get to the church first and like I kind of, it's kind of, yeah, like the father walks the bride down the aisle. I did the same thing with my son and I was waiting at the aisle, you know, for the bride with him. We were standing side by side and I have a bouquet of flowers and she has a bouquet of flowers. I give her mine and she gives me hers. Don't know why they do this, but they do this here. So there's actually do two bouquets of flowers. One she took home and then one she threw at the um, at the hall so she actually still has you know her bouquet I guess and yeah so that was um, that was okay uh, but she she obviously was late and um, which most brides are you know it, it happens it happens it's a big day it was a morning wedding like I said it was a morning wedding like I was up by 6 30 you know starting I did a lot the night before had all the boys suits out and their socks and their shoes you know being as organized as possible and even like taking papers off of the socks and tags and things like that making sure that I wouldn't have all these things you know hanging around so as you can see I'm pulling the strings and it's very easy you just have to have the patience mind you you guys this makes a big mess 
I'm going to roll up my, like this lint um, uh, attaches itself to everything. And I'm just going to keep on pulling. So where was I at? The church, um, after the church, we went directly to the hall. So it was actually a lunch. And it was too, um, for me, it was too much food, you guys. It was really too much. So there was a huge buffet outside. They had the frying section where they were doing calamari fritti. They were fried. They were frying all, all different types of vegetables and everything. Then they had um, the, the section where there was the raw oysters and the raw mussels. And they were eating that with lemon and little sauces in the inside. Then there was the section where you found little pizzas, little rice balls, little everything, everything in miniature. Then on the inside, they do this um, this thing here. They, they boil the squid, and they put this squid really tight after it's been boiled in a container, so it's a cylinder shape, right? And, and the squid is all squashed together, and it's left like that in the fridge, or the freezer, I guess, until it sets. So when they take it out, it's a, it's a uniform shape and they start cutting slices of it so you have this boiled octopus sorry did i say squid octopus and they cut it like they would be cutting kebabs right they were they're slicing this thing they even had it on the machine of the kebab but not cooking they only had it turning so they could cut thin thin slices and there was a beautiful salad made out of that and surprisingly i was so surprised there was onion rings because here they don't eat onion rings and um, I have been seeing them lately here in, um, you know, in weddings and things like that. So that was the buffet. And you guys, it goes on and on and on and on and on, the stuff they had. You know, then they had the little, you know, hors d'oeuvres and things like that. All different types of hors d'oeuvres. Like there was two rooms full of this buffet. Um, outside, the gardens were beautiful. Really, really nice gardens outside. And so I just keep on pulling here, you guys. You, if you can try to get two to pull at a time, you can do it. And um, after the buffet, we all went in and sat down. And there was another antibasto, which had, you know, smoked salmon, smoked spade fish, smoked um, an, another octopus salad. Um, then there was, um, you know, little pieces of toasted bread on it to eat with the thing and some butter. So that was another dish, which for me, we could have eliminated that dish because the buffet was incredible. Like I didn't, I didn't taste a quarter of the stuff that was on the buffet because I was so frightened that I would have um, been full too fast. So you guys to shorten this, let me see what I'm at. I'm at 13 minutes, that's not bad, come on. So you know what I do with these things? So I get two together, I tie them up, and I keep on doing this until I, I get myself, you know, a nice long, long string. And then I just put it around an old spool. And so that way I can, um, I have this type, this string, which is really nice string to use for anything I want. See? For now I just gather it up because it becomes a lot. So I'm only halfway not even halfway. I still have a big piece to do. I have one ready here. Okay. So where were we at? The antibasto. In the meantime, the bride and the groom are outside taking pictures and and things like that. And um, still have one here. I had this ready. So that way, you know, when you guys didn't have to sit here and watch me, um, you know, pull threads all the time. Um, then there was, yeah, so, so the antibasto, I would have eliminated that completely. Then there was, um, the first, what we would call primo here, which would be the first entree, okay? First entree. At this point, there was one, two, the buffet, the antibasto, the three pastas, that's five and the two second dishes. So that was seven entree meal. Oh, and the fruit salad in um in um in a whatchamacallit made out of almonds. That was to die for. Oh my gosh. That I ate even though I couldn't take it anymore. So then they brought two types of rice, a black rice and a normal rice. And then they brought 
two types of fish on one plate with potatoes and after that they brought another dish full of shrimp and um, and another type of fish done and salad and things like that so yeah it was a big big meal and um, oh I was so happy to be home by 9 30 at night like here weddings usually last if they're morning weddings they go on until night and you know you're there until at least midnight if it's an evening wedding well you're home mm, three in the morning if it's an evening wedding and um, a beautiful band that was playing and we had the life of our time like we were up dancing I don't think I missed a dance well maybe yeah a few but um, I was up dancing most of the time yeah we're partiers <laughs> In fact, it was all of us crazy nuts that were all dancing, our side of the family. Um, the, the bride's side, um, not very many people were dancing. They were pretty much just watching. But we were having a ball. We had a really good time. The beautiful wedding. Um, it was so nice to hear so many compliments. Like people saying, I'm not saying it just to say it. It was a beautiful wedding. So, yeah, I'm really proud of the those two kids you know they did this all on their own they organized everything on their own and you know and now they're starting a life together which is you know so exciting for them and who knows quickly I'll be a grandma so at this point she wanted something in the middle um, I on mine when I did them the first time I think I glued little buttons in here little vintage buttons and they were really cute and I think in the video that's what she does too and imagine these ones with white burlap. They come out beautiful as well, too. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue here because this is the way I'm starting these ones. And this I'm going to put down here because, you know, I want it to be, if you put it up too high, so you're going to, you know, have a nice piece. If you're going to do it this way, you're going to have a nice piece of burlap. Let me show you that really close. There we go. See that? like halfway down if you're going to use this type of method with a little stem in the middle okay i'm wondering if you can put it in after um i think this is probably the best way i haven't tried after i'm going to try that just to see how it comes out if it's a bit easier or not you know always trying things so this is the difference i'm not sealing it with eileen's glue with aileen's glue but it, it worked out perfectly that's the way i used to do them but like I said, because I have so many of them to do, I really don't have, you know, the time to sit. I, it's more that, like I said, it's more about the space, though. I don't have the space, you know, to put the glue on and, and let them dry all night. And really, um, I'm, do, I'm going much quicker this way, too, I think. So like I said, if you want them smaller, you're going to do them. This is 24 inches long by three and a half. Let's say three and a quarter to three and a half wide about 24 inches long if you want them smaller do them about 12 inches and you're going to get you know little butts that are so adorable and um and that's about it then you start pulling the string um naturally if you want them smaller and actually real butts the width i would do them i would do them you know like two and a half inches maybe the width as well too I would make that smaller and that way they would come like actually little tiny buds which would be adorable as well too but yeah I have um it's it it's an I like doing this I, I actually do like doing it but it makes such a mess like the other day I did it in my living room and like I had to pull out the vacuum cleaner right away and um and do that so, oh, I would like to thank all, you know, my new subbies. Um, I, ha I know I haven't been around for a while. I'm hoping to, you know, start getting into the mood. It's more, it's more getting into the mood of crafting again. Um, the weather is going to start getting better, which will, you know, in here, it, or it's too hot in the summer or it's too cold in the winter. Like, um, I can't beat it. So as you see here. You know, the little space that was left right there to gather this all up. And just keep on rolling it until the end. 
So yeah, like I said, we were home by 9. I can't wait to see the pictures that they did at home. The photographer was here by 8.30 in the morning. We were all ready. We were all on time. Um, nice big breakfast table for whoever came at home. And, and, you know, all his cousins came to see him, to see him off. Because that's another thing what they do here at the bride's house. All the friends of the brides go at the bride's house. And, you know, the relatives and things like that. And, and she'll come out of the house with her father. And here, I would come out of the house with my son. And there would be, you know... Um, relatives here and things like that so what I do now is I just open it up and I kind of sometimes this one spread out right away sometimes you have to give it just a little bit of help in you know spreading out just a bit not too much because you don't want to spread it out too much a little bit at a time you know if you want it more you can go more and there we have a really cute burlap flower isn't that adorable this is at the back see here but like I said you know it would be attached to something and um, you know and it comes out really cute as well too I'm not sure if she's gonna attach these two jars which candles are gonna go I, I, I can't remember what she said or if it's going to be for her keepsake things for the packaging but that's a really cute thing so yeah um, what else can I say? They're, they, they're leaving on a honeymoon for the 31st of March. They leave on a honeymoon. They're going to on a cruise. And they'll be stopping in Spain and France and um, other parts of Italy as well, too. So that will be nice to, for them, too. And, um, yeah, and they're starting out, you know, a new life, which is, it's kind of cute, you know. And, and I get to see my son almost every day. <laughs> And I'm still doing his laundry, believe it or not. <laughs> I still have things that I'm finding that... Well, I've gone into his cupboard, that's why, too. So I'm taking some stuff out that, um, you know, I'm just going to refresh. I'm just refreshing the stuff and, and, you know, seeing what he wants. Getting them ready for him. He's brought in a lot, of, a lot of clothes over there, but just the stuff that's been left over. Seeing what he wants out of it. And... Um, yeah, like I said, we were home by 9.30, which is really nice because, you know, it's it's a long day. And, and my feet at the end, and it always happens to me, you guys, and I always forget to bring, you know, a pair, even a pair of slippers. Because I'm every time I'm at a wedding and I have high heel shoes on, I have to go home taking my shoes off because I cannot walk in them anymore. That's how much I danced. I could not walk anymore, so I did... I did a nice fair piece of, you know, um, road, <laughs> pave on the pavement road, you know, walking to the car, because the car couldn't come in there, so I had to walk that piece, and, and I was barefoot, <laughs> and that's the way it always ends up for me, and I, and I always forget to bring a pair of shoes just to take off your heels at the end, you know, because then what happens sometimes, too, is that these shoes were actually very comfortable, you guys, it's just that I danced so much. What happens um, at the end is that once you take your shoes off, you can't get them back on again because maybe your feet are swollen. And so, um, so you know, I'm walking out of the, the car again at home to get into my house, but my husband left me right in front of the door, so that wasn't a problem. Because it's winter here, so I was kind of cold as well, too. But, yeah, who's interested? Go on my Facebook page. You can see the pictures. Um, there's some pictures. There's not, there's not all of them. Like I said, I can't wait to see the pictures that he took at home here of all my boys together, um, you know, all dressed up and everything. It was really nice. And uh, the cats are fighting, as usual. Dottie, stop eating the blanket, please. Sorry about that, you guys. Dottie likes to chew on her blanket. And, um, yeah, so I've been thinking, I want to get into the mood, and I've been watching Mike Deacon's um, Mission Impossible videos. I've been watching Cat Hands. Oh, my goodness. There's Gina Ahrens, too, that has a new group that I'm part of. I'm, part of a, I'm a part of a few groups that I actually joined, you know, a few months ago. But like I said... Between, you know, all the stuff that I've had to do and actually really just not having not having any mojo to, you know, craft and everything. But um, today I gave up, gave yesterday and today, 
I gave this room a nice, you know, clean out and everything. And um, I'm still purging you, purging you guys, because I started doing that, you know, before all this happened in this room. And I'm still, I still just have one big shelf to clean out. And that's where I have all my papers and cardboard, you know, cereal boxes, which I have too many of. So I have to get rid of some of them. Like they're just too many. Um, I might be downsizing in a lot of, I might be doing this again because I'm thinking of, like I can't take the co the heat in this room and the cold in this room in the summer and the winter. And I'm kind of thinking of really downsizing and taking a little room that I have in the house where it's actually my laundry room right now. I still have nail polish on from the other night. It's just a glitter the other day. So, but that's a big decision to make because I got a lot of stuff and a lot that stuff will not fit in that room. Not for, no, no, not all these pieces of furniture I have and everything, but I will have to leave this room one day. That's for sure. Okay? This will become a house, one of the houses for my kids. So um, one day we'll have to leave this room. You know, when my next son is ready to get married and, and I think about five years time will go by. So yeah, see, see all the lint, this stuff please. That's a, it, this is just a little bit. It's not showing you what spreads out on your clothes and everything. So be aware of that if you want to wear an apron and make sure, you know, that you don't have um, clothes where it's, it, it really attaches to. Like I have these pair of pants that I was wearing the other night and like it's like the lint really like just attached them. I had to get the vacuum cleaner and vacuum it off. So I hope you try these, you guys, and check out their site. It's really creative stuff. You know, go back on the old videos and you find incredible stuff, incredible ideas and everything. A bit of art journaling, but mostly crafts. It's, it is mostly crafts, which I enjoy very much doing. So, yeah, so you will be seeing me soon with, um, you know, doing some videos. Like I said, I'm, I'm really inspired by, by doing these videos that I've been seeing. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... Um, what was I going to say? Um, thank you again to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers that are, you know, always faithfully following me. And, um, and I will be back soon, real soon. So everybody have a great day. Goodbye.